Hey, hi, how's everybody doing today? Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be working more on my envelope journal turned vintage journal. I don't know what that thing is. Pick that up from somewhere. Anyway, I've been having fun doing this. I've got little scraps all over the place. My desk is a complete mess, but I added a few things that I didn't have available to me. Um, the other day when I was working on this, I brought out my fabric scrap snippets, clusters, um, in these containers. So I've now got those nice and handy for if I want to do any soft edges or what have you with those. I also have brought out my fabric and thread borders that I put together one day, actually several days. I had fun doing those. Some other things that I pulled out of my stash, um, and this little card here, has writing on the back so that has to be a tuck spot of some sort and then these are a bunch of sticker packs that I got from the Dollar Tree I went a little nuts one day and I just I cleaned them out I got one of every kind of these three excuse me 3d stickers and uh yeah I got a lot of them and one thing I haven't used them because they're they're three-dimensional and they're bumpy so yeah there's a few things up used here and there but really why not just I need to use them. I just do. That's just all there is to it. And these things, isn't that ugly? That dog is creepy. But this is from an old uh, calendar that I had. Um, it was a birthday calendar, honestly, and it's just very vintage. And then those other stickers there. Yep, a little container for scraps and whatnot. Yeah, and love you guys for coming by, and it's been really great. Added a few things, and now I'm going to start working on a few more pages that I didn't get to last time. So just add a little sticker on this one, and how easy does that make that page look nice it, it was just a little floral sticker so now i'm going to keep on moving i'm going to move on with uh, some more ideas here and what to do going to skip a few places because you don't need to watch me unwrap things but like the previous page of the previous side of this page i'm going to add some add some more um stamping and i'm going to use the stamps that i got from tim holtz that uh this three set and i showed that on the previous video so check that out if you want to know what those are i'm going to use black memento ink moment memento ink right and in my block and yes i do have the wrong stamp on here i wanted to use the numbers oh i got it figured out right now there we go and i'm just going to do the border and so that's going to be an easy way to make a junk journal page a little more vintage using some numbers so I just do a little stamping and I don't get it great, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. It's just, it's more fun if you don't worry about it, right? So worry's not, it's not invited to our little party here, our paper party. It can't happen. No, thank you very much. So I'm having a good time doing this and uh, I'm going to keep rolling along here. And obviously I'm putting this on double speed. So if you need to see anything a little closer, just go ahead on your settings and slow it down. You can do that, you know. And if you don't want to hear the music, turn down the volume. So all these things are great to do. I'm going to keep going and we will see you at the end. So I've never tried this method of coloring papers with makeup. So I'm just going to give it a shot here. I have um, some distress ink, a distress oxide in uh, worn lipstick. And I figure this is about the same color. And I've seen people talk about ma using makeup if they don't have distress inks. Um, and so I'm giving it a shot here. What I'm finding is it doesn't give a lot of color and it's really powdery so I think if I would have maybe added some water to it it would have given me a better result and I'll try that again somewhere else in the journal um, but yeah it, if it works I think that'd be a really easy way to do that because makeup is really cheap you can get the absolute cheapest stuff at Walmart and if you can use it to make cool things in your junk journal wow why not so and the glue that I'm using here is Elmer's extra strength school glue and I really like how it works Right now, glue is all on sale because of school supplies, if we can ever get school going again. But I don't know about necessarily the extra strength kind. But the purple kind that disappears when you, you know, use it, that's fun. I got that, I uh, got a big pack of that the other day for pretty cheap. And for the 3D stickers here, I'm just taking off the three-dimensional backing. 
I've got so much of that already somewhere else. I don't need a little piece of backing. So um, I didn't think about doing that before. And these hummingbirds are really pretty. So that's what I'm going to use these for. I'm going to try doing some of this without having the backing on it so it's not three-dimensional. Then it won't get too, too thick. easy way to add a little interest to a page just border it with some lace um, it doesn't have to be all the way all the way through to the top to the bottom you know just a little snippet of lace on the side it would be just fine too but it just creates a really nice softened edge and this little baggie are just fussy cut little images that I had laying around I honestly I forgot I had them but when I went and pulled out these these uh, 3D stickers, it was in that bag. It's like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad I found this. So here you can see me using that makeup again to give the page some color. And as you can also see, it's not doing much. So I end up gluing it on and just leaving it the way it is. It's fine. I don't have a problem with that, even though it's not really pink. Um, but I think I'm done using that all night. It's good blush though. I, I use I stopped wearing makeup a while ago, so I really don't need it. <laughs> so, but this distress oxide, this uh, worn lipstick, I've uh, I'm glad I found it because uh, and let's see, with the paper outpost, she uses it a lot. Pam at the paper outpost she uses the worn lipstick a lot, and I have other um, distress inks, but I really do like this one. It just gives it really good coverage. And it's just really subtle, but it's got a it's really juicy. It's a really juicy pad. Anyway, so yeah, just adding the lace, adding that little sticker in the corner or that little uh, image of a coffee cup in the corner works great. And I'm going to take my floral stamps here and use the dress Distress Oxide that's pink, the worn lipstick, and just add a stamp in the corner. Again, another super easy way to add interest to a page. It doesn't have to be complicated and we're working on not making things too thick, although in, in this in this book, I'm not too worried about it. It's a lot of experimenting and a lot of finding out what I can actually do to make this plain old mailer, uh, mailer junk journal, the app through the Stampin' Up 2006. So good luck finding those again. But I really do like that set, stamp set. But yeah, trying to make this mailer, these boring old pieces of mail into something vintage and interesting and pretty. So, and here's some just stray paper that I've had laying around. I'm going to take my uh, School of Nursing ruler here because... It's really, it's a strong, I like how wide it is too. And it's just a sturdy, sturdy ruler and just tear the edges off. So it matches the size of the page. And then I'm going to just, um, double side tape that on. And then, uh, that's going to be that, uh, that page with some more embellishing. So yeah, pretty easy.
So here you can see that I'm bringing out a couple different colors of the Distress Ink that I have. These two blues came in a 12 pack, I believe, uh, that I got probably about three or four years ago now. And when they feel like a little dried up, I can just add a squirt of water and it just reactivates them. And so it's, it's a, a nice and easy way to, um, to accent a page. And I love having different colors too. And as you can see here, I'm adding a little more pink. You can see how much juicier that pink is as compared to the blush. Um, it, I thought that yellow page just needed a little something. So yeah, I really like how this turned out. And that, that uh, paper on the top and the bottom, that's just um, not tissue paper, but well, maybe it is tissue paper. And it's, it just came in a gift, you know, that fun paper that you get in gifts. And that stamp I got from Goodwill. So again, a couple more easy ways to enhance a page. So now I'm really getting to the point where I'm loving the layering on the different edges of the pages that I'm, that's coming together. It's just, it, it's really pretty. You know, there's a lot of interest now and, and as opposed to, you know, when I first started, it was just edges. And now these edges have, have depth and, you know, all kinds of fun stuff. So it's really starting to come together. I'm getting more excited as I keep working on it. And uh, I love how this yellow goes with just look at how those edges are that just the layering now is just starting to get me really excited. So I'm thinking about what else I'm going to get to do with this as we keep working on it. Um, and so far, I'm just having a whole bunch of fun. And I, I really hope you guys are getting into your crafting too. And it's being fun and not a chore. Sometimes that's what happens when you get a project. And it's like, oh my goodness, I have to get this done for whatever reason. You, you know, you put yourself on your own uh, you're hard on yourself you want to get things done in a certain time frame but honestly for this I'm just having a good time I'm just whatever I feel like doing that's the, I'm really enjoying this and this gal's getting getting dual dual distress inks here and uh, yeah another one of those little fussy cut things that I found I totally forgot about but she's going to get some fabric tack on her and she's going to get glued to this little fabric border thing that I put together and I've got a video on on those as well super easy again really great way to use those scraps to those little borders so so fun I'm having a blast I hope you're enjoying watching this
here I add a piece of music paper that I have. It's a great notebook. I know it's a stark white, so I'm adding the Distress ink to, you know, age it up somewhat. I guess I could have coffee sprayed it, coffee water sprayed it, but I decided not to. That makes takes too much time to dry. And then I'm using this pinking shears because um, that's just fun to do. And they're really sharp, too. I got those at a estate sale. And I'm using uh, some Distress Ink, and I just get the edges of this. And uh, just this cute little advertisement from Days Gone By. They'll go just in the corner. Yeah, and a corset. Oh, yeah, let's let's wear those again. I bet you that girl has a corset on. <laughs> and that other picture across, this, across the page. So I add that, and I'm thinking to myself, this needs a little more, though. Um... So I think about it, think about it, and then I finally realize I need to just put some more of the of the music border on it. So I just grab that piece and I cut it down to size and I glue it onto the bottom of the page and it just, and then page done, right? Just taking a look at what I ended up with so far. Put some stickers here, sticker there, some little embellishments here, lace, stamping, a little bit of everything going on in here. And I really, I, that's what's fun about it, all the variety, because you can do whatever you want. And she's just cute. I like her. Anyway, so much fun doing this, so much fun. I hope you guys are getting your, your crafting time. And uh, here's what I've got on here so far. And I'm enjoying it. Oh, I'm just loving this layering. Loving it. Makes me happy. Brings me joy. So I hope you're all having a great day, you guys. And enjoying these videos. And uh, take care, everybody. And as always, I love you. And God bless. Bye-bye.